and everybody wants to know it. Why did you decide to do this? We really wanted to be able to let people voice their opinions and, and I think a lot of the time that people have definitely have a it's a very controversial is issue. People definitely have opinions about this. Um, but I think a lot of the time that they don't feel like their opinions get heard or that doesn't go anywhere. And so we wanted to give people a chance to vote and actually have their you know opinion be heard and, and make a difference in, in a real life situation. How emotional is it for you? Ooh, right now I'm a bit overwhelmed. Um, okay, very overwhelmed. Uh, it, I think I was bawling last night. Just the pregnancy hormones obviously don't help. Uh, so I'm a bit over emotional just to begin with. But um, the, the response and some of the, the responses that we have been getting have been so critical that it, it's it's a little hard for somebody who's never been in the spot like this like this before to deal with that kind of pressure. I'm starting to feel a little sympathy for a lot of the uh, celebrities out there that have to deal with. There's been some talk in the media already, things written, things said, that there's a, an agenda in all of this. Do you have an agenda with it? I would say our only agenda is just getting people's votes and their opinions out there so that they can be heard. I, I mean, we're reading all the comments, we're you know, listening to what, we, what people are saying, and the vote's kind of gone both ways since the beginning. Uh, I'm just, you know, surprised that all of a sudden, after it being up for, you know, a couple months, that all of a sudden it just kind of exploded. Has it been hard? You mentioned that you cried last night. So since the story aired, it's become hard. Yeah. Um, you know, when we first put it up, I didn't think anything would really become of it. I knew we'd get some hate mail and, you know, people that were not happy with us. Um, and we've gotten some good responses too that you know people want you know if we're really considering it that we would you know that they would be willing to adopt in our child and, and such um, but yeah it's really gotten overwhelming as of today like after you know I woke up and I I didn't sleep very well <laughs> first of all because um, I've been you know a little bit upset and and then um, you know I had a appointment this morning and I went in and my blood pressure was a little high which I guess is to be expected um, but I mean this, I, and I was freaking out all day I think but uh, I think that I'm starting to calm down a little bit I've got some good support surrounding me so what do you say to people who think this is crazy it probably is a little crazy yeah um, but it's also, you know, the idea that people can get out there and they can vote and they can make a difference. I think that everybody wants to do something that matters in their life. And um, I think that the response to this means that we've obviously hit some nerves, but we've also gotten people's attention and are getting the, you know, news out there, getting out the amazing power that voting is. This is such a personal, private decision for many people. How is it different for you and your husband? Oh, it was really difficult. Um, I mean, because anybody who's been to the website knows that we've had some losses in the past. Um, and so, you know, you, when you do go through a miscarriage, you don't get a choice there. Um, and it's difficult putting something like this up and making it so public. I mean, I don't really want to go forward, you know, I don't want to bring my pain or my experiences from the past and make them, you know, everybody's common knowledge. But we also wanted, you know, to really just to get out there and let people know that their opinions matter and that, you know, they can make a difference. When you say make a difference, how so? How are you hoping to give and empower people to make a difference? Really just through voting, being able to really voice their opinions, put in their vote, and make a decision. I mean, I think a lot of the time that people don't take voting seriously or they don't care about voting. They, you know, um, 
sometimes we get pretty good voter turnout you know at the elections and sometimes it's abysmal and I think that if people are more aware of the importance of voting that it kind of helps the, the country in general. You know you mentioned uh, miscarriages um, you've now seen the ultrasound of your child as a mom carrying a baby how has that affected you does it change for you now that you've seen an ultrasound or is it still pretty much the same um, you know I've the ultrasounds are fun it's good to see the baby and see that you know the pregnancy is going well I've had some complications and um, so it's been kind of nerve-wracking throughout um, but you know when I see the pictures I I do connect I think it's kind of natural as a you know expecting mother to feel you know emotion towards your unborn child I wouldn't I I'm not gonna say I wouldn't be human if I didn't feel anything but uh, I definitely wouldn't be me if I didn't feel at least some connection does that process make it harder for you to do the poll? Has it changed at all? Yes, definitely now it, it's made it harder for me to do the poll since things have started turning around and going well. Um, you know, I kind of saw it as like, well, we've had some losses in the past. This time probably won't be any different. Um, you know, so we're not really gambling anything. And now it seems with the pregnancy going better that the stakes are a little bit higher. So the miscarriages obviously were part of the decision. On, on the one hand, you have the, the desire to give people a say and a vote mm -hmm. and be involved in the process on the issue of, of abortion. But yet the miscarriages played a, a, a role as well in the decision to, to put it up to a vote because you had um, heartbreak before. Yes, I think so. I mean, obviously, part of me was like, what if I jinx it? You know, <laughs> I'm not a super superstitious person, but, you know, there's part of that, you know, part of me that goes, oh, we put this up here, then, you know, if something doesn't go right, all of a sudden all these people know, um, but at that point they're strangers, and now they're not necessarily going to be strangers anymore. Will you go through with whatever the result of the poll is? We are taking everybody's opinion into consideration. Um, it is very important to us what people vote, but in the end, kind of like the president, we reserve veto power. I mean, we are definitely taking it seriously, but we want people to know that it, it it's definitely... Uh, sorry, it's definitely our, our, their opinion that matters and we're taking it into account. It's going to be a large part of our decision, especially if it's very much one way or the other. Um, but like I said, it does really come down to us for making that final decision because it is a procedure that I have to go through. Nobody else is having to do this for us. So Some of the criticism has been publicly that this is a stunt it's all for personal attention. Uh, there's an extra motive here, a hidden agenda. How do you respond to those people and, and to that criticism that this is just all about attention and the vote is secondary? Oh, um, if they knew me at all, they would realize that this is not something that I thought would ever happen. I didn't think that it would become such a big issue like it has. Um, and I'm not really an attention-seeking person. I wish my husband was here. He's um, not available because he's out of state, but I'm not an attention-seeking person. There isn't really a, a, another agenda behind this. We, it's not a stunt for the pro-life side or the pro-choice side. Um, we just really wanted to give people a chance to vote. And the emotions uh, at first pretty steady, now up and down. How tough has it been for you since the last few days? It's been a very 
well, overwhelming day. I can't say how, how just the extent of that. I just, I've been, you know, somewhat excited because Pete has been, has been, um, you know, excited to be getting um, response the way we have, and then partly, um, you know, frustrated because I'm by myself and having to deal with more of it um, than I thought I would on, on my own. How hard is it for you to read and hear the criticisms? Well, that's extremely difficult. I'm, I'm a very positive person myself. I don't usually uh, state a lot of a negative opinions to other people, and I, I've been surprised at the amount of hate mail we've gotten. So I, I don't know. I've just kind of tried to let it go by and just realize that people do have their strong opinions and that, um, you know, we wanted people to voice their opinions and that's what the democratic system is all about. Um, you don't always have to like what people have to say, but you do allow them to speak. Do you regret doing this now? Oh, uh, ask me in another couple of weeks. No, um, regret, no. I tried to avoid things that would cause regret, but um, I am a little bit wary now. I guess I would think twice about you know ever trying something like this again. If I went back, I would probably do a little bit more soul searching before this went up, but you know, what can we do now? When does the vote end and when will the decision be made? Um, I believe the vote ends on December 7th, um, which gives us two days, I believe, in Minnesota because the, um, the legal limit is viability or what they consider about 20 weeks along. And when you're over, when you're in your second trimester, I believe it is, you have to um, have a uh, consultation and you have to wait 24 hours before having the procedure. If the vote ended today, what would the decision be? According to the vote? <laughs> I guess, well, well, would you go according to, if it ended today, would you go strictly with the vote or would you and your husband? We would have to talk it over because, I mean, we have this decision set out for another couple of weeks. We haven't really discussed too deeply what happens if it goes, you know, one way or another. Um, right now it's very much give birth. So you know, right now that's doesn't require us to do anything other than try to maintain a healthy pregnancy and, and continue with my vitamins and everything else that I have to do, um, continuing on my bed rest for now, or modified bed rest and uh, just hanging in there. And I know you'd, you'd like to have your husband here, uh, but I'm gonna ask you as the mom, as the person carrying the baby, what would your decision be if it ended today? If the vote ended today, where are you leaning? I'm not big for any type of medical procedure, so it would probably lean towards keeping the baby, um, but, you know, anything can, anything can change.